Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to teach you how to make this DIY fake ice cream. In the description below, I'm going to post my shopping list with all the items that I used for this DIY. Most items I found at my local Dollar Tree and a few I had to buy from Walmart. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions. Here is exactly what you will need for this DIY. Now another tip for this video, because I've sped it up to make it a shorter video, you're going to want to watch each step and then pause the video to complete it. I hope this helps. All right, let's get started. The first step, you're gonna paint the inside of the cups. This is your first coat out of three coats. Once you're done, you're gonna set them aside and let them dry for 15 minutes. Once you finish your first coat, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you clean off your brushes for the next coat. Step two, we're gonna mix the paint and the spackling. You're gonna mix two spacklings with the light pink paint. This is going to make our strawberry ice cream. Now when putting the paint into the spackling, you don't wanna to put too much paint in. You want the spackling to be a thick consistency to hold shape. Step three, we're gonna mix the paint and the spackling to make vanilla ice cream. You're gonna take two tubs of spackling and mix it with the paint called vintage parchment. Step four, we're gonna go ahead and paint the second coat inside of the cups. Once you're done, set aside again and let dry for 15 minutes. Don't forget to go ahead and wash off your brushes after the step. We still have one more coat to paint inside of the glasses. Step five, we're gonna mix the paint and the spackling to make chocolate ice cream. To do this, you're gonna use two tubs of spackling again, and you're gonna use the paint called melted chocolate. Step six, we're gonna mix the paint and the spackling to make the whipped cream that goes on top of the ice cream sundae. All right, for this one, we're gonna use three tubs of spackling and the paint that's just white gloss. Step seven, this step we're going to paint the last coating of the inside of our cups. This layer can be a little bit thicker than the first two and you just wanna make sure that you can't see any of the inside of the cup. Once you're done with this, you can set them aside for the last time and let them dry for 15 minutes. Step eight, you're gonna place the foam balls in each of the cups. This acts like a filler so you don't have to use so much ice cream. Step nine, this is when you will scoop the ice cream into your sundae glasses. I would highly suggest just starting with one color of ice cream at a time. And when you want to switch to a new color, just go ahead and take your ice cream scoop, wipe it off with a paper towel, and move on to your next color. I would not suggest washing your ice cream scoop off in the sink, as the spackling could cause clogs. During this step, you're also going to be putting the whipped cream on top of your ice cream sundaes. Now you're not gonna to wanna to do this until you have your ice cream scoops exactly how you want them. Then when it's time to put the whipped cream on top, 
you're gonna go ahead and fill up your icing bag with the white gloss spackling and make sure that you use the star tip for the icing bag. You're going to pipe this icing bag just like you would on top of a cupcake. Step 10, it's time to decorate. Now to decorate these sundaes, we're gonna make a homemade hot fudge to drizzle over the top. We're gonna be using the glass beads to act like sprinkles. Then we're gonna cut the straws to put into the sundaes. We're gonna cut them about three inches long. And finally, don't forget to add that cherry on top. To make the hot fudge to drizzle on top, you're gonna mix the Mod Podge and the melted chocolate paint. And that's a wrap. Now we have fake ice cream sundaes. I think that these would be perfect for Valentine's Day decor or even birthday party decor. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you made this DIY at home and would love to share your creations, please go ahead and post your pictures in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video coming soon.